Konnichiwa mina, boku wa Jeremy desu. Yoroshiku o n e g a i s h i m a s Today is day 263. It is Saturday, September the 20th, 2014. I was thinking January for some reason. I'm like, why would it be January? Nobody wants white shit yet. Anyways, <laughs> so I just finished watching the latest episode of Sailor Moon Crystal, which is episode 6, Tuxedo Kamen.、Uh, Very, very well done.、Uh, interesting how.、Uh, now, I read the, the manga chapter again、um, right before I watched it, and there are subtle differences.、Uh, the, one of the biggest ones is Queen Beryl descending to Earth. And, I mean, that's, that's, that's so big. You, I mean, Zoicide, of course, took over、um, the, the thing.、Uh, Nephrite is, of course, still alive, but、uh, Zoicide came in and, as the European leader and blah, 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 and、uh, posed as a woman. And they actually had a female voice actress playing Zoicide at the time while、well, he was a woman, and he transformed back into a guy and had his male voice again. So、uh, it'd be interesting to see if they do that in the English dub when they get it eventually.、Uh, The little differences that were kind of subtle but fun.、Um, Luna uh, in the manga chapter,、um, after she announces that Usagi's got this new duty as the leader and all this other stuff,、um, she's, Usagi wakes up earlier than Luna. Luna comes down to read the newspaper, and Ikuko makes an, a comment Oh, you're up. You know, she's, you're late. She's already gone. And, And Luna's reading the newspaper, and then that's when the Tuxedo Command and stuff is coming on about how he wants to find the crystal and needs everybody's help, and blah blah blah. And、um, instead, it kind of just gets broadcast, and、uh, Luna's, you see a picture of Ikuko playing with Luna with a cat toy. It's really, really cute.、Um, they don't broadcast it. From the Tokyo Tower specifically, like in the manga, because the Tokyo Tower, up until about 2011 or 12, somewhere in there,、uh, used to broadcast analog, and now it doesn't anymore. So they did it from just a TV station, but the energy was being collected from the Tokyo Tower, kind of keeping in line with the manga、uh, chapter. So we got to see Mamoru shirtless, which is like. The first time, I think, in the anime series, almost. I mean, there was that Super S episode, if you count it, where he's like jumping out into the bathtub and all that stuff again. But、uh, they actually, like I've said before, they're actually making him seem more masculine in this run of the series, more romanticized masculine. So, like, tougher, I don't know, it's hard to explain than the other one. And his fashion sense is better, he's got the tuxedo thing going on, and it just, it's, you learn a little bit more about him, not an entirely huge amount.、Um, it's more so about Usagi's growth and how she's becoming、um, the leader, and she's got the, the Crescent Moon one, and she uses Moon Healing Escalation against Queen Beryl, but Zoicite takes the brunt of it, and Queen Beryl descends back up into the, or ascends, I guess. Back up into her, whatever,、uh, the Dark Kingdom. So that was quite an interesting plot change there. And、uh, we, at the end, when Sailor Moon uses all of her energy to save everybody and she's all tired,、uh, Tuxedo Command kisses her, of course. And、uh, that actually is the second time this has happened, and it caused quite a stir apparently in the fan community when in the Masquerade Ball one, because he kissed her while she was unconscious. Same sort of thing. She wasn't unconscious this time, but what drives me nuts is that people are taking it out of context, and bitching about it now is kind of a moot point. If you look at the original manga series, he kisses her in there, so it's been around since 1992. So don't, don't freak out about what's going on. There, it's. it's People looking too too much into it, I think. It's a romanticized thing, that's what it's meant to be. It's not not rape, it's not that kind of a thing, that's not what it's meant to be at all. It's it's a love, a loving thing, an embrace, and you know, they're slowly finding their way to each other, which is good. If you really have a beef with it, then take something up with like General Hospital back in the 80s when Luke and Laura got together and he actually raped her and it became this huge thing, but now I'm way off topic, so. Yeah. So he kisses her again, she feels warm.、Uh, he says he has no power, but which we all know he does because he is the、uh, guardian of the earth.、Uh, and his power, one of his powers, is healing, which we've seen in the other series before.、Um, and hopefully, we'll get to see Tuxedo the Smoking Bomber as the series progresses,、uh, his, his other power.、Um, kind of deviating a little bit more again, looking at the Sailor Moon musical, Petite Tangere, which just was shown in Japan and is heading to.、Uh, 
uh, China. I can't even think of the name. Singapore? No. Maybe is it Singapore? I don't know. They're going Shanghai. Shanghai. That's it. Shanghai. Ah, oh, I'm I'm tired. Um, so they're doing a show there, but. During one part, Sailor Moon is asking for their help, like the power. So, Mercury star power, Mars star power, Jupiter star power, Venus star power. And then Tuxedo Kamen says Earth star power, which is the first time we've ever had that, I guess. Because um, even in the live action series, Tuxedo Kamen did have a transformation sequence with the rose and the whole, he was shirtless there too, and the clothes came on like a tuxedo. It was, it was very feminine, masculine, it was like a, a mixture of the two, I suppose. But they are really, I guess I'm happy to see that they're masculizing Tuxedo Command again. Uh, he is a hero, even though it, he, there is, the series is dominated by female heroines, which is fantastic, and it, it's great, but it's good to have that link uh, for some of the boys and stuff too to relate to, like they do in a lot of series and things like that. Um, so, and of course, they had the... Uh, ubiquitous, or the, uh, I don't even know if that's the right word for it, but the fan moment that people have been waiting for to see if it would happen, and yes, Chiba Mamoru woke up shirtless in bed like he did in the manga. So they're sticking pretty close to it, but on other ways they're deviating from it. I love the fact, uh, another way, um, in the manga, Ami meets up with Luna because uh, there's stuff going on at the school and she says to go to the arcade so she shows Ami that there is this thing underneath the the, Ar the Sailor V game and in the Sailor Moon Crystal episode Ami, Rei, Makoto, Minako no, not Minako Ami, Rei, Makoto and Usagi all go and they see the secret base and uh, it's I, I I like the secret base. I, I like that we saw. I don't remember if I mentioned it already, but as Tuxedo Command is is taking Sailor Moon back to his place to let her rest, of course. Yeah, come on, come on. Anyway, um, you see Sailor V and Artemis kind of looking down, and it's not Sailor Venus. It's her Sailor V outfit, which is fantastic to see that, uh, that they're sticking so close to that. I would love to see some kind of offshoot of a Sailor V anime, maybe, talking about her past. That would be kind of neat, but with the fact that they're doing 26 episodes, it stands to reason that there won't be any offshoots. It's just going to be the 13 uh, chapters of Sailor Moon, and then going into Sailor Moon R after that with the Black Moon family. Um, wrapping everything up really nicely, leading into Sailor Moon S for the musical next year, which will probably take place, and then start uh, Sailor Moon S's musical sometime in the summer next year, I would guess. Um, and hopefully, hopefully Crystal goes really good and continues on from there. I would assume they'll choose a different name, because really the first two seasons are about the Silver Crystal, uh, more so. And then I would see them, it would make sense to change the name to go into something else for the Deathbusters saga and so on. We probably won't see Alan and Anne because they didn't exist in the manga. Um, I would love to see a remake of the S movie, but uh, I love the S movie, that's my favorite. <laughs> so, uh, what else? I don't know if much else happened uh, that was different. It, it pretty much, I mean, it, it was fast paced more so than the manga was, which is kind of weird to say, because the manga is, you know, it's shorter, and you have a whole half hour, t well, 24 minute TV episode, and, well, 20 minutes, if you don't count the opening, the commercial things, the title screen, and the ending, something like that, I guess, and of course the next episode is Chiba Mamoru Tuxedo Mask, so uh, we will see more about him. Uh, it's going to lead into the next scene that I think a lot of people want to see is his control over Motoki, control over um, when he becomes evil and if that's going to happen, and then how he mind kind of mind controls Motoki a little bit, and they have that whole homoerotic kind of a th scene, I guess, I don't know, um, and so on from there. So, I, I, I am really enjoying it. I think that the quality is getting better. The It's still very weird, though, and a little bit jarring when they do the transformation sequences, because they are a different style of animation than what you watch in the rest of the episode. It is 3D, it is CGI, it's, I mean, the newer series is pretty much CGI, but it's still enough of a change that it can kind of be jarring. 
and uh, it's so weird to see. It just feels disconnected a little bit, but I still think that this episode was was really good, and, and the, I mean, they've been building up momentum as they go along. The Jupiter one was really good, now we have this one, and, and I'm sure the next one's going to be great too in two weeks, because next Saturday is the last Saturday of September, and then it'll be the first Saturday of August, or October, so there we go. And then in November, we've got that thing where it's going to happen again, where there's the, I think we're going to miss, there's five weekends or something, so I got to remember that. And let's not forget the time change, too. If you happen to live in an area that does the daylight savings time, we're going to be fall back, right, an hour? So I don't know if that's going to affect it. I don't know what night that's going to happen. I'll have to check that out, see if it's supposed to be a night of the Sailor Moon crystal showing. And if Japan, I don't know, if it's going to mean that we're going to go to 4 o'clock in the morning here, or, or I don't know. I can't even think about that right now. So, moon healing escalation, we got to see that. Uh, what I thought was also neat, too, was Mercury, Mars, and Jupiter, when they went to use their attacks, were, like, floating up in the air. Uh, and Queen Barrel coming down was just so weird. It was just different and, and neat and kind of needed, I think, to help with the plot go along. Uh, the fact that the generals are not being killed, I mean, it kind of makes sense for them to stay around because they are Memoru's court, uh, a kind of like Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, and Venus are, say, our Princess Serenity's court, right? So you've got the two there, and I think that eventually they're going to guide Mamoru, and just like they kind of do in the manga off and on, especially Kunzite. Um, it's sort of played out like that in the live action one, kind of, because Kunzite was against him, but then at the same time, he, they had memories of working together and training him, and ah, it was just weird fun. So, yeah. Overall, I really, really like this episode. I encourage you to watch it if you can on Nico Nico. Uh, I'm sure it'll show up on YouTube because someone's been posting them on YouTube with uh, the English subtitles too, which is great. And also uh, Crunchyroll. Check it out on Crunchyroll. And I don't know of any other sites that might be doing it, but those are, I watch it mainly on Nico Nico. Um, and yeah, so two more weeks, <laughs> I guess. Now we, we wait for those, but uh, there you go. Uh, let me know what you guys think below. I always love to hear from you guys in the comments. I try to comment if I can uh, when I get a chance to. I've been really, really busy lately with a whole bunch of different projects. Um, but Sailor Moon is always a big passion of my heart. And I will see you guys tomorrow, which is Sunday. Don't forget to check out my radio show from 2 to 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 92.5 FM in Kamloops. Or if you are anywhere else in the world, www.dx.ca from 2 to 4 p.m. Pacific Time. And it's called Animate in Japan, Insanity on the Radio, Japanese music at its best. I will see you tomorrow. Jamatane mina. Bye-bye.